the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. In Dallas Buyers Club, Matthew McConaughey remarkably transforms into a homophobic HIV patient at the dawn of the AIDS epidemic in the United States. This film also co-stars Jared Leto and Jennifer Garner. Mr. Woodruff, you've tested positive for HIV. Have you ever used intravenous drugs? Have you ever engaged in homosexual conduct? Homo, homo. Did you say homo? You made a mistake. Mm -hmm. That ain't me. Mr. Woodruff, we estimate you have 30 days left. What is it about this story that made you really want or need to be a part of it? I did need to be a part of it. I had just had this kind of long time at home. I'd been pregnant, I'd had a baby, and I really kind of was like, I don't really need to work anymore, I'm fine. And this came along and I thought, ah, rats, I have to go to work, because I loved it so much, I loved the story. And I just wanted to work with Matthew again, and I knew that Jean-Marc, having seen his movies, I knew that he would be an inspiring director, and I was right on both counts. When I read the script, I went, oh my God, this is gonna be a performance. This is going to be great for the actor who's going to play this. And then Matthew came, I met with him, and then we prepped. And the first week, when we started to shoot, yeah, I got that feeling too. Not only with Matthew, but with, with this girl here. Well, I had walked down a similar path before as far as the weight loss goes for Requiem for Dream. And as far as approaching dark material, that no stranger to that. So that helps. You have some tools. But I hadn't made a movie in five years. You know, that's a long time, almost six. So it's almost like I started from the beginning again. And I think that the five years off touring with 30 Seconds to Mars, uh, playing shows all over the world, I think that taught me a lot. I think it taught me how to, gave me a lot of experience. And I think it enriched my life and made me a better actor as a result. Treating these people? I didn't treat them myself. Well, I ain't selling drugs, I'm selling membership. Walker, your set. These are patients? Yes, sir. They're all whose names are players on the Dallas Cowboys. That's a hell of a voice, And they shared his diary with me. That was my, that's when I got the guy's monologue. That's when I understood what Ron would have, was thinking Monday morning when he was dressed up, looking for a job, waiting for his pager to buzz, and it never buzzed. And then the ironic thing is that him getting, in my opinion, him getting HIV is really the first real purpose he got in life, the purpose to fight it. The first thing that he could wake up every morning, grab a hold of with his claws and fight all day long, and he fought for seven years. <laughs>